What's going on ladies and gents, Dalibor here for T3G and welcome to another Tech Monday. It's late in the day, we are doing this kind of on the fly. I wanted to talk about something that's relevant to the current state of affairs in the world. As you can see at the top of the screen here, we have a massive, enormous ransomware outbreak in the world. Over 150 countries, tons and tons of computers affected and the biggest issue has been the fact that they are out of date. So before I go on to what I'm talking about today, I want to course as always reinforce the need to update your software update your operating system your virus software any protection software that you might be using update it make sure everything is current with this situation Microsoft has released a, an emergency patch for Windows XP if you are for some reason still running XP get it up to date now to what I want to talk about today today I want to talk about Malwarebytes Malwarebytes is a website that has been around for a long long time uh, their anti malware software I've been using for at least seven or eight years so I and as you can see uh, it scans for malware and allows you a chance to remove it it's got versions on just about every platform if you look under here on their website under more you've got Malwarebytes 3 which is the Windows platform you've got the anti malware for Mac anti malware for mobile you've got a ton of options on all your op operating systems multiple languages all that good stuff there is a premium version which has the ransomware component, the anti-ransomware component, and uh, that's something that you have an option of using, an option of getting, of course. Uh, I'm actually not sure what the price is these days. Let's take a look real quick. You got a few options. One PC, uh, monthly subscription is 10 bucks. Looks like they've got a sale. Uh, so 40 bucks for a year. 40 bucks for a year is the 333 for one PC. Uh, if you go for a two year, it's uh, 60 bucks for two years. So not too bad if you ask me, pretty decent price as far as things go. I, however, have always used the free version and I wanted to kind of show you around the software and kind of tell you the benefits that I found with it. I ran a scan today and uh, the first thing that I always do, as soon as you open it, you're gonna get your dashboard. The newest iteration has this uh, smiley face system uh, either going to get a smiley face, a kind of a blank face that's yellow or a sad face that is red, uh, depending on the situation. Uh, I have a couple lights here indicating my system status and readiness. Uh, my license is free. Uh, it's red there because there are better options. So the premium version has more features. Uh, same thing with the real time protection. That is a feature of the premium version. My database is up to date. I did just update it and then my scan is done. However, I go under scan and this is what it's found. It looks like we've got over 2,000 items. Now this is not necessarily all true malware. The big thing to remember is PUP means potentially unwanted program. These are not known viruses. They are things that could be affecting the way your system runs, that could be designed to circumvent certain security settings, things like that. Uh, looking at this is in torch torch is a browser that I use very rarely uh, looks like I mean it might be out of date it might be I mean torch itself might have an issue my install might be my install might be bad I might have gotten uh, an add-on that might be they might have messed up the settings anything like that uh, this first one right here is actually a download uh, an installer for free studio just something that I use all the time uh, I trust the software but the 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 installer could have an issue with it, which is why it's identified that and not the actual software. Uh, for the most part, everything I see is looks like it's torch related. So, so let's go further down. Yeah, everything else is torch related. So something about the installation of torch on this computer uh, makes it unwanted. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe on mass. So perfect clear. And theoretically that's actually uninstalled torch for my system. Uh, let's check that real quick. Nope, not there, so that's gone. And that was as simple as that. That's why I love the software. Super lightweight, it's, if you notice it's actually already closed. Uh, if we look for it, malware bytes, it pops open pretty quickly. It asks you, are you sure that you wanna open this since it is a security requiring uh, software? And it pops open. You can have it start up automatically with your system. Uh, if you buy the premium version, you of course would want that to have that real time protection and the other components running. Now with removing all those items, they go into quarantine. Quarantine, if you don't know, is basically it puts it in a sandbox. It can't touch the system. The system can't touch it. So I don't really care to have them there at all. I always wipe my quarantine 
I don't think I've ever kept anything in quarantine. Since there were so many items, it took a little bit, but if you only have a few, delete them right away. Now the final thing I want to say about this is this is not the be all end all. No software is perfect. I actually use this as a backup to my antivirus. My antivirus is a vast. The way I look at antivirus is it's the, the guard at the door, right? The guard at the gate. It's there to prevent things from getting into the system. It is not there to th get things out of the system if they get in. Now you might be asking, why would things get in if you do have an antivirus? The thing about it is this kind of stuff, technology in general is always evolving, but software and malware, things like that is always upgraded on a regular basis. I mean, the people who are trying to scam you out of money are always trying to scam you out of money and they're always trying to find better ways to do it. So they're constantly working on that stuff. And as antivirus companies get the information on how to fight the new version of whatever the thing is, they update their software, which is always, again, going back to very how important it is to keep your software up to date, especially your protection software and your operating system. I personally don't ever rely on one piece of software to do anything. Uh, I have my antivirus, I have my malware bytes. I actually also use another one called Super Anti Spyware. Um, usually if this finds something, Super won't, vice versa. Uh, I have had a few occasions where this did not find anything, Super did. So that's why I keep multiples. It's redundancy to make sure that your system is safe and that you are protected. So that's actually going to be it for this one. Just a quick video. End of the day, it's going to go up after midnight, but I did want to get a tech video up. And I figured since everyone's talking about this, I wanted to give you guys a tool that could help in the fight against malware. Appreciate you guys for watching. We will see you next time. I will be here on Wednesday. I promise I'm going to be talking about how to upgrade and update your software on various platforms starting this week. I think we'll actually start with Android this time. Keep things fresh and new. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one.